Hi, and welcome back to the Media Zone here in the DevNet Zone at Cisco Live. My name is Ryan Rose. I'm the Director of Learning and Development, and I am pleased to be hosting this session with Luke Fode of um, uh, Meld CX, right. uh, which is a Meraki ecosystem tech partner. We are super excited to have you because you, um, your company uh, uh, works on two of my favorite subjects, which is IoT and AI. Uh, so uh, if we could start, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and Meld CX. Yeah, so as I mentioned, I'm Luke. I'm the EMEA Sales Director for Meld CX. Um, Meld CX is an Australian company, so you might hear a bit of a twang in my voice occasionally. <laughs> Um, so that's how I found Meld. I'm actually a, a previous Meraki employee over in Australia. Um, so that's where the partnership began. Oh, right on. So tell us about the work that your organization, Meld CX, does with Meraki. So Meld CX is a bit of a tongue twister. So <laughs> Meld CX means melding the customer experience. So we use the Meraki cameras as a sensor and create custom applications in lots of different verticals. So an example would be improving revenue streams for stuff like retailers, uh, improving health and safety in warehouses and hospital environments. Then we look on a larger scale for some deployments in smart cities as well. So it's taking a customer problem um, and adapting it to that customer need. That's awesome. Now, I'm a huge fan of IoT, uh, Internet of Things te uh, technologies. Um, I can talk all day about um, you know the, everything from edge to automated vehicles. But you were just talking about how you're using the sensors that are on the Meraki side. Yeah. How how are you using those sensors? How does that data collection work? And then how do you process all of this? Yeah. So the beauty of the Meraki cameras, especially with the new Gen 3, is they got the ability for us to upload our AI model to the camera in itself, making it a near edgeless solution at points as well. So we use that camera, see what it's visualizing, and then reinterpret that into data that the customer wants. So effectively, we're using a camera as a brain like a human being would to spit out data points, which is going to be valuable back to a business. That's awesome. One of the things that's really great about the work that you're doing from an IoT space, and personally, those types of technologies are always super interesting to me because Definitely. they're kind of a playground for developers. But they are really empowered by AI systems. Mm -hmm. um, now, a lot of the work that you also do has that AI component. Yeah. Uh, how is Meld CX using AI to really achieve these goals? Yeah, so an example might be a customer comes to us with a problem. So let's say a retail environment as an example around customer behavior in store. So we've got a lot of pre-built applications. And the beauty of the Meraki camera is we can upload these models onto the camera in itself. But then sometimes we have a custom problem. So we worked in construction the other day, and someone wanted to see high-vis jackets and helmets. So that's something we have to train a model for and then upload it onto the camera. So the reason why I love working for Meld and with Meraki is we've got that flexibility of working with the cameras directly and also creating custom things around customer problems. That's awesome. Um, uh, now, is, is there like a part of kind of IoT or even AI that you're personally excited about? Is there, is there some place where you would kind of like that to go? Yeah, I guess there's so many different verticals that come to us with, uh, I guess, different outcomes and solutions they require. Uh, retail is usually the, the obvious gravitation point around customer analytics and behavior. Um, but from a personal standpoint, I'm really liking of how we're emphasizing of what we're doing in health and safety specifically. Uh, so we look in hospital environments as an example, improving standards of care, so stuff like patient fall detection, cleanliness monitoring. It just shows that we're improving the standards of patient welfare and an instant outcome for a lot of our customers. That's interesting. Um, and again, like I feel like since the pandemic, mm -hmm. we've really seen an influx of the power of like IoT technology. Yeah. You, you were talking about smart buildings earlier. Yeah. Um, now, how do you see that that space changing? Like before the pandemic and now. I'm sure you all are also experiencing things like how proximity detection is working yeah. out. Um, where are you all innovating there? Yeah, it's funny how the journey has become. At the first it was detect masks, are people too close together? And thankfully we've swiftly evolved from those times. So now it's more about that energy saving in smart buildings. So room, room, room utilization, how many people are in that at a given point, scaling down heating and lighting to provide a cost benefit for customers which is also natural on the Meraki infrastructure already. That's awesome. Now, 
uh, uh, Meld CX works a lot with Meraki, but you also work with other Cisco technologies. Uh, could you talk a little bit about that as well? Yeah, so Meraki, we can also inherit data from a lot of other sensors as well, which are used. So the Meraki MT range are great, but also a lot of the IoT ranges from the Cisco dashboard as well. So there's lots of different products that we can integrate within our existing data platforms. Oh, that's awesome. Um, now, is there a, a particular project that uh, you've recently been working on that you're like, wow, this is, this is the greatest example of, of kind of the power that we can bring to bear when we're able to combine Meraki and uh, uh, Meld CX. Is there something uh, that you, you know, kind of a feather in your cap as of late? Yeah, I guess thinking off the cusp, one of our, I guess, greatest deployments recently was in a large coffee provider around the world. We won't get, go into phonetics there, but effectively they wanted us to do some analysis for their drive through so they're having several customers come up, and Uber Eats was the bane of their life, as an office <laughs> might be ordering 40 coffees at once, right? And that backs up the queue significantly. Oh, yeah. So what we're doing there with a combination of uh, vehicle tracking and license plate recognition is getting an alerting as to when a, an Uber Eats is approaching and making that drive-through more efficient for customers uh, and ordering them to improve revenue for the store. Oh, that's excellent. That's excellent. Um, uh, as a follow-up to that, like. Where do you see more and more of those cameras possibly going? I, I know that you've already identified some of the verticals, but where do you see expansion of, of that type of IoT technology? Where would you say that it could end up? I mean, I always think of things like uh, university systems, um, uh, more, that, uh, of, of more areas of public safety. Um, where, all, where are you all expanding into, kind of looking into where you could grow? Funnily enough, you mentioned universities and education there. So what we're demonstrating uh, today on the, on the dashboard is actually some curriculum around AI. So we've got some of the small cameras detecting Lego bricks to build a vehicle, and the kids can learn AI modules, build these vehicles, and drive around Mars. So it's gamifying the experience of AI uh, and making it more local and accessible for children as part of their curriculum, especially with the expansion of stuff like ChatGBT. Um, it's only going to get larger and larger the investment in the space. Right on. Uh, uh, well, uh, if I can ask, is uh, if people were interested in learning more about Meld CX, if they were interested about learning about all of the things that you all are doing, where could they go? First and foremost, MeldCX.com. That's a, a good place to start. But secondary to that, the marketplace, if you haven't been on there already, has got a whole bunch of different applications that can be used by Meld and also other ecosystem partners as well. So. Uh, figure out what an outcome that you'd like to achieve, you search it in that marketplace, and it's easily accessible information to get in touch. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, and I, seeing that we're in the DevNet zone, yeah. and we are obsessed with technology and innovation here, I always like to ask our guests, what is a piece of technology or any type of innovation that you personally are excited about? You talked about ChatGPT, I'm a big fan of that. Um, I already said I'm a big fan of IoT technology. What do you like? I know it's going to be around in a lot of the interviews today, but ChatGBT and the automation, I guess, in how we speak, present ourselves, it's super exciting. Uh, I just want to see where the future will go in one to two years and how many things we can start automating in order to combine with, our, I guess, our existence today. Oh, I, I completely agree. I'm super excited about that technology and not just because I had it write me a, a letter saying I couldn't come to work because I was worried that the moon was going to crash into the earth. <laughs> Uh, and it was very convincing. Um, well, Luke, thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, and again, I want to invite all of our uh, viewers at home, if you're interested in learning more about Melt CX and even learning about uh, our marketplace of applications, you can go to the Meraki Marketplace at apps.meraki.io. Uh, you can learn more about our uh, DevNet sessions here and all of these innovations that we've been talking about at developer.cisco.com. And uh, I can't thank you all enough for joining us uh, and continuing your journey in the Media Zone, uh, at the DevNet Zone, at Cisco Live. And again, thank you, Luke. And uh, looking forward to seeing all the great things you, you uh, are going to be creating. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much for being in touch. Good deal. Bye, everybody.